A 58-year-old multipurpose woman attends the outpatient clinic with asymptomatic vaginal bulge. On examination, pelvic organ prolapse quantification was used to assess the stage of prolapse. All measurements were recorded on the attached grant. What is the stage of pelvic organ prolapse? Pelvic organ prolapse quantification known as POPQ quantifies the stage of prolapse. It measures nine distances. All distances are measured during a valsalva, except one distance known as total vaginal length or TVL. The reference point for all measurements is the hymenal margin. The measured distances can be recorded on a 3 by 3 grid. These three distances assess the stage of epical prolapse. Two points on the anterior vaginal wall assess the stage of anterior compartment to prolapse. Another two points on the posterior vaginal wall assess the stage of posterior compartment to prolapse. And two external measurements assess the shape of the perineum. Let us start with the apical compartment. Ask the patient to relax, reduce the prolapse, and measure the distance from the hymenal edge till the posterior fornix. This is called the total vaginal length. Then ask the patient to strain. Some prolapse may happen. Now measure the distance from the hymenal edge till the tip of the cervix. This is called C and measure the distance from the hymenal edge till the posterior fornix after straining and this is called distance D. Now we know the total vaginal length and we can assess total vaginal length minus 2 known as TVL minus 2. With the straining the apical compartment can descend and descend more any descent in the area between TVL-2 and 1 cm above the hymen is considered stage 1. The apical compartment can descend more and more. Any descent in the area between 1 cm above the hymen and 1 cm below the hymen is considered stage 2. Further descent in the area between 1 cm below the hymen and TVL-2 is considered stage 3 and further descent beyond TVL-2 is considered stage 4. Now let's move to the anterior compartment. The first 3 cm on the anterior vaginal wall is assessed by point A anterior which is normally present 3 cm before the hymen, I mean minus 3, but it could be minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2, or even plus 3. The remaining part on the anterior vaginal wall is assessed by point B anterior, which is normally present 3 cm before the hymen, I mean minus 3 but it could descend to any area in stage 1, stage 2, stage 3, or even stage 4. Moving to the posterior compartment assessment, it is assessed in the same way as the anterior compartment. I mean, the first 3 cm are assessed by point A posterior while the remaining part on the posterior vaginal wall is assessed by point B posterior. Now let's assess the stage of prolapse in our case scenario. We know that total vaginal length is 10 cm and the cervix prolapsed to 6 cm beyond the hymen. This means apical compartment prolapse is stage 3. In the anterior compartment, A anterior is plus 3 and B anterior is plus 5. 
here you can see a anterior and b anterior this means the anterior compartment is also prolapsed to stage 3 similarly the posterior compartment prolapse so that a posterior is plus 3 and b posterior is plus 5 and this means the posterior compartment prolapse is stage 3 regarding the shape of the perineum we measure the genital hiatus which extends between the urethral orifice and the posterior hymenal margin and it measures 4 cm in our case scenario the perineal body extends from the posterior hymenal margin till the anal orifice and in this clinical scenario it measures 2 centimeters.